Good evening. Welcome to the annual Senior Scholarship and Recognition Ceremony. My name is Damien Switzer, high school principal. Thank you for joining us this evening at our first ever virtual Senior Scholarship and Recognition Night. Typically, we would be gathered together live in our school where you can feel the energy and excitement of a ceremony that celebrates and recognizes the class of 2020. Please know that our Spartan spirit, the Spartitude, is alive and well. This is one of our favorite events of the year. Tonight's recognition program is an opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments of our seniors. These are the students who have distinguished themselves as leaders and role models, students who have worked hard to achieve at the highest levels and contribute to our school community in so many ways. We are proud tonight to honor these seniors for their outstanding academic achievements, involvement in extracurricular activities and community service. Congratulations to these extraordinary seniors and the entire class of 2020. Thank you. It's my pleasure at this time to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Kyle Gannon. Good evening, everybody. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. This is such a special event. I want to first reflect on um, our students. I want to reflect on them being here tonight for their academic achievements. Second, I want to talk about the parents and the guardians, the people that have been involved, grandparents, who have been intimately involved with these students. Tonight is a night for all of you to celebrate. You've all worked hard. This is a chance for you to be honored for your hard work. Our community works very hard. Many people put together lots and lots of hours to work towards fiscal pieces for our students. Our guidance staff is amazing. Our teachers are amazing. And they've all put together a lot of effort to be able to nominate our students for these awards. Tonight, you're going to see just how special it is and that special feeling of being a student who receives an award and being a parent or guardian that is there or a grandparent to feel that sense of excitement that it's your child. They did it. They earned it. They worked really hard. And tonight we recognize that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our scholarship awards. Thank you, everybody. At this point in time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Janelle Sipowitz. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Uh, we just wanted to say a special thanks again to all the community members and scholarship committees that donate their time and money to support memorial scholarships to support our student. We feel so fortunate to be a part of a community that supports our student and schools. Also, due to the restrictions of our slideshow presentation, not every award this evening will have a picture of the student nominee. Please wait to the end of our ceremony to celebrate every recipient of a scholarship with a slideshow of all students and their photos. We look forward to celebrating with all of you. Thank you, and I'd now like to turn it over to Mr. Damien Switzer to begin our presentation. It's an honor at this time to present the Principal's Leadership Award to an outstanding senior member of Queensbury's chapter of the National Honor Society. This student is a role model for her peers and not only excels academically, but demonstrates achievement in leadership, service, and character. This year's Principal's Leadership Award goes to Caitlin Shea. Caitlin is an outstanding student, both in and out of the classroom. Academically, she ranks in the top one quarter of her class and has chosen to challenge herself within our most rigorous course offerings, which include honors, advanced placement, and IB courses. Caitlin is a candidate to eventually qualify for the prestigious International Baccalaureate Program Diploma, as well as an advanced Regents Diploma with honors. Beyond the classroom, Caitlin still finds time to give of herself within numerous co-curricular activities. She is a four-year member of our largest student service organization, Key Club, and is also a leader within our Spanish club. Caitlin has also become involved with the production of our student-driven literary magazine, Seeing Blue. Not only is she a member of the production team, 
but she is also a contributing author, a co-editor, and contributes to the layout design. In addition to serving as National Honor Society president, Caitlin is a driving force in the newly organized student organization, Climate Action Club. In the community, Caitlin has been a volunteer within the Town of Queensbury Recreation Programs for Children and is also involved with her church's youth ministry. Her volunteer efforts have been demonstrated at our area's soup kitchen, The Open Door, and at the World Children's Museum located in downtown Glens Falls. Caitlin presently aspires to study journalism and or communications as an undergraduate at a competitive collegiate institution next year. According to her school counselor, Kevin Sullivan, Caitlin is bright, organized, socially engaged, and involved. Her modesty for her individual accomplishments and genuine sincerity for who she is and what she does is readily apparent each and every day. Congratulations, Caitlin, for receiving this honor. Thank you. The E. Leo and Louise Spain Foundation Scholarship. The purpose of the E. Leo and Louise Spain Foundation is to carry out the mutual desires to further the education of worthy young men and women. Recipients are graduates of St. Mary, St. Alphonsus Regional Catholic School. The award goes to Sophia Asfar Kashmiri, Fiona Hunt, Kaylee Hunt, Eleanor O'Connor, Evan Powell. The class of 2020's top 10 students. Queensbury High School is proud to honor these 10 individuals who have proven that long-term commitment, balance, and time management will lead to success. Robert Scheidegger, Kinsley Hall, Grace Hicks, Chloe Lyles, Evan Powell, Sophia Asfar Kashmiri, Samantha Brayton, Eliana Addison, Jonathan Marshall, Annika Trollstra. The New York State Education Department Academic Excellence Award. The top seven overall performers are provided a monetary award. The top performer receives 1,500 and the remaining students 500. This is computed using a weighted average of the scores on Regents examinations taken prior to the senior year in English, Algebra II Trigonometry, Global History, U.S. History, and two Science Regents exams. The next award, the United States Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award. Every year, the Marine Corps recognizes high school students from across the nation with a Scholastic Excellence Award. This award recognizes a student who personifies the tough, smart nature of the U.S. Marines by going above and beyond the efforts of their peers in academic achievement. This award goes to Kinsley Hall. The Queensbury Principal Scholarship Award, in recognition of outstanding academic achievement, character, and leadership, the high school principals have selected one student for their continued hard work and growth throughout high school. This award goes to Caitlin Lang. The St. Lawrence University Augsbury Scholarship honors graduating seniors who demonstrate leadership ability a strong interest in community service, and a genuine desire to pursue a liberal arts degree at St. Lawrence. The successful admissions candidates are eligible for $32,000 annually. This award goes to Chloe Lyles and Kinsley Hall. The United States Marine Corps Semper Fi Musical Excellence Award. John Philip Sousa is well known for his accomplishments as a musician and leader. In recognition of his spirit and achievement, the United States Marines Youth Foundation and the Marines Corps League presents the Semper Fidelis Award for musical excellence to the high school band member who devoted the extra time and effort. This award goes to Robert Scheidegger. The Riley Olson Memorial Fund. Riley Olson was a 2011 graduate from QHS. Sadly, he passed away from a skiing accident March 31st, 2016. He was a four-year varsity letterman in golf and participated in baseball and Nordic skiing. He was a member of the National Honor Society. During his time at QHS, he loved his friends and enjoyed growing up in the Queensbury community. Riley and his parents were cared for by the University of Vermont Medical Center with compassion and love at the time of his accident. 
Riley's parents have chosen to honor Riley's memory by supporting a student that is pursuing a career in the medical or related field. This award goes to Maggie Bolgiano. The Knights of Pythias Achievement Award, Albany City Lodge, number 540. This award is giving to a student who embodies the value of friendship, charity, and benevolence. The Knights celebrate a deserving student who has made the greatest progress in extracurricular activities and community endeavors. This award goes to Mohammed Mustafa Bayram. The Paul Chapman National Honor Art Honor Society Award honors Paul Chapman, Queensbury High School art teacher and artist for his many years of service to his profession. This $100 award recognizes brilliance in student art achievement, artistic involvement at the high school level, and continued education in the field of art at the college level. This award goes to Daphne Millington. The Boys State American Legion Certificates. The American Legion Boys State is a unique summertime educational program that focuses on participation and personal experience in a model state complete with governing bodies and elected officials. Rising seniors receive training and practical citizenship, leadership, and working knowledge of structure and operation of state government. The recipients of these award is Nathan Angel, Jake Howard, William Frazier, Drew Fidelli, and Nathan Johnson. And now I'd like to turn over the presentation to high school counselor, Mr. Diamond. Deputy Brett S. Flaherty Memorial Scholarship. Brett Flaherty, a 1979 graduate of Queensbury High School and member of the varsity soccer team, went on and enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1980. He specialized in Russian linguistics as a signet voice interceptor, serving his country for nine years and reaching the rank of sergeant. Upon return, Brett completed the Zone 5 Law Enforcement Academy, serving as a deputy of the Warren County Sheriff's Department for 26 years. Brett was the family member, coworker, community member, or friend you knew was always there to help. Quoting one of his friends, Brett served his country in the U.S. Army, devoted a career to protecting his community as a deputy sheriff, and somehow still made time to help friends in need. Selfish was a word that he likely did not know because no one ever had an occasion to use it in the same breath as his name. This scholarship is awarded to a student with devoted sense of patriotism for his country, pursuing a career in law enforcement, and willingness to help those in need. This award goes to Augustine Logitano. The next four students are not only accepting the challenge of a rigorous post-secondary education, but they will be selflessly serving our country in the armed forces having accepted a Reserve Officer Training Corps scholarship. We would like to extend a special recognition to the following students. Accepting an ROTC scholarship from the United States Marine Corps is Luke Little. And accepting an ROTC scholarship from the United States Army are William Frazier, Jake Howard, and Andrew Summers. The Future Business Leaders of America Distinguished Leader Scholarship 2020. This $150 award is designed to recognize outstanding FBLA members who are graduating seniors for their leadership and involvement in the association, as well as their academic achievement through enrollment in business courses. This award goes to Lindsay Allen. The Adirondack Area School Boards Association Community Service Award. The Adirondack Area School Boards Association is a group of men and women who serve their community by being members of their school district's Board of Education. Each year, they recognize a deserving senior who has displayed through his or her actions the value of volunteerism and giving back to the community. This award goes to Robert Scheidegger. The Capital Area School Development Association of New York 33rd Scholars Recognition Program. CASDA is an outreach arm 
of school of the School of Education, providing services to 120 school districts. This award recognizes two students for outstanding scholastic achievement and service to the school and or community. This award goes to Sarah Bramlage and Megan O'Connor. The Queensbury High School Musical Fran Williams Memorial Scholarship honors the former high school director by providing one $100 scholarship in memory of Francis D. Williams to a graduating senior who participated in the Queensbury High School Musical and is pursuing, pursuing a degree in the arts. Her life will be memorialized with this scholarship in her memory to pass on her legacy of musical theater. This award goes to Abigail Caimano. The Ben Osborne Memorial Scholarship. Corporal Benjamin D. Osborne was killed in action in Afghanistan on June 15, 2010, while serving in the United States Army. Due to his heroic actions, he was awarded the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. The Ben Osborne Memorial Fund Scholarship is awarded to two students who exemplify Ben's legacy a charitable heart, a strong work ethic, sportsmanship, leadership, discipline, and pride. This is a $500 award. And this award goes to Augustine Longitano and Elizabeth Welsing. The Baker Funeral Home Sobering Thought Award is given to a student selected by the faculty who exemplifies abstinence from all forms of substance use and abuse and reckless driving behavior. This award goes to Olivia Nasavera. Outstanding Art Achievement Award. The Outstanding Art Achievement Award was established to recognize artists in the senior class for exemplary artwork. This award recognizes excellence in student art achievement with the honor of having a piece of artwork selected for the permanent art collection of the Queensbury Union Free School District. These awards go to Abigail Caimano, Sarah Bramlage, Caitlin Lang, Abby King, Jaden Malley, and Tim Waters. The Eva Austin Judkins Scholarship, Glens Falls Club of College Women. This $750 award goes to a QHS young woman of character, displaying scholarship and leadership. The club is very concerned that their award be given to a student who has passion for her fellow man and believes in lifelong learning. This award goes to Shay Murray. The Bruce L. Crary Foundation Education Grants. For 46 years, the Bruce L. Crary Foundation has been helping North Country students attend college. Bruce Crary, who was a resident of Westport, New York, left a legacy which continues to benefit young people from the Adirondack area. He directed his estate to assist deserving students in need of financial assistance with their college expenses. Bruce L. Crary Foundation Incorporated a not-for-profit corporation, was established in 1973. The foundation provides scholarships to full-time undergraduate students who are residents of Clinton, Essex, Franklin, Hamilton, and Warren counties. The awards typically from $700 to $1,200 a year are renewable for four years. The winners are Kelsey Hill, Chloe Lyles, Nicholas Logan, and Sean Stimson. The Jonathan R. Vasileo Memorial Scholarship Award. As parents, one of the most cherished moments that can be shared is watching your child find a passion and strive to achieve their goals. We hope to honor Jonathan's life by giving these $500 awards to help other students pursue their passions with the same dignity and character. We would like to give this award to students like Jonathan who, along with dedication to academics, enjoyed extracurricular activities with enthusiasm. They have a positive outlook on life, are compassionate towards others, 
and encourage friends and fellow Spartans to be their very best. This award goes to Seth Gay and Caitlin Shea. And now for my colleague, Dawn Nyhart for her portion of the present presentation. Glens Falls Kiwanis Club Scholarship honors members of Queensbury High School Key Club who exemplify the ideals of Kiwanis, a com commitment to community service, leadership, and have a deep sense of personal responsibility and citizenship. These recipients have dedicated themselves to the Key Club organization and have made a positive impact on the school and community. The awards go to Eliana, Addison, and Megan Wasaki. The Jeff Aurelia Big A Scholarship Fund was founded in 2010 and given in the memory of Jeff, a beloved father, son, husband, and friend. He was a great man and the scholarship honors and remembers him for who he was, a passionate teacher and much respected football coach. The Queensbury School District was so proud of the connections he made with his students and team members. Jeff had a way with working with those students who were more needy than most. We held him in high regard as an exemplary English language arts teacher. Family and students always came first. Jeff's family wishes to recognize individuals who possess similar interests. The awards go to Joshua DeMottis, Nathan Gillingham, Jonathan Marshall, and Alexander Roca. Craig Short Memorial Scholarship. The $1,000 award is given in honor of Craig Short, who lost his life in an automobile accident while attending Colgate University. A graduate of Queensbury High School, he is recalled as an outstanding scholar and athlete. The award goes to Ashlyn Wobleski. Robert Hughes Memorial Scholarship. This $1,000 award is given in memory of Bob Hughes, who taught physical education and coached several sports during the early years of our district. This fund is designed to assist students preparing for a career in physical education or a related field. The award goes to Alexander Roca. Doris Renwell's Memorial Scholarship. This $910 award was established during the early years of Queensbury Union Free School District in memory of Doris Ren Wells and in recognition of her active involvement in the Parent Teacher Association. The award goes to Sage Carpenter. Katrine A. Moose Memorial Scholarship. In memory of the first principal of the Queensbury Elementary School, the award of $1,000 is made to a student preparing for a career in teaching. Before the consolidation of many smaller school districts in Queensbury, Katrine, Katrine A. Moose was a teacher and principal at a former Imperial School. The award is given to Ella Campopiano. William H. Barton Memorial Scholarship. This $500 award is made in memory of the first supervising principal and then superintendent at the Queensbury Union Free School District from 1948 until his retirement in 1973. This scholarship is given in his memory by his son and daughter-in-law, Terrence and Jane Barton and their family. The award goes to Audrey Murphy. The Sarah L. McEachron Memorial Scholarship. Ms. McEachron was a former fifth and sixth grade teacher who began her career in a one room schoolhouse in West Glens Falls. She loved teaching at Queensbury and our students. She left a considerable amount of money to Queensbury Union Free School District with a stipulation to use only the interest each year for a deserving senior pursuing a teaching career. The award goes to Theater Bearer. Queensbury Faculty Association Scholarships recognizes students for a variety of accomplishments, including scholarship, need, service, and career path. These students were previously honored at a separate ceremony on June 9th, 2020. There are five general scholarships and two memorials, the Paul Barton Memorial, 
in the Dr. Jack V. Arian Memorial. The recipients of the scholarships are Haley Ballard, Brittany Barton, Sage Carpenter, Rebecca Garcia, Savannah Haywood, Taryn Kane, and Shay Murray. Tri-County Branch of Women's National Farm and Garden Association. $500 scholarship for graduating high school senior or advanced student from areas in which members reside who are majoring in an agricultural, environmental, forestry, horticultural, or oceanographic related field. The award goes to Haley Ballard. New York State Attorney General's Triple C Awards. New York State Attorney General hopes to encourage young citizens to excel and further their potential. By striving to develop their minds and strengthen their character, they have embodied the spirit of his Triple C Award of courage, character, and commitment. Most of us go through life managing our ups and downs with few major obstacles. Our nominees for the Triple C Award exhibit courage every day. Their fortitude and strength is commendable. Their dedication is an inspiration to all of us. The awards go to Jillian Bartlett, Samantha Colon, William Frazier, Gabrielle Iantilli, Cameron Palmer, Christopher Parcells, Tracy Rowell, Samantha Tominsky, Drew Walther, Ethan Willis, and Alyssa Winters. Larice S. Jocelyn Memorial Scholarship. Larice was a sixth grade teacher at Queensbury Middle School when she died as a result of a motorcycle accident. This award of $1,000 was created by the Jocelyn family in cooperation with the Glens Falls Foundation. The award goes to Savannah Haywood. Walter Waddock Memorial Scholarship. Honors Walter Waddock, a member of our, the Social Studies Department at Queensbury High School. He taught in the district for many years and is remembered for his dry sense of humor. The Queensbury Scholarship Committee tries to honor Mr. Waddock by awarding the scholarship to a student with a similar sense of humor. This is a $1,000 award and the award goes to Megan O'Connor. Eleanor B. Farman Memorial Scholarship. This $1,000 award is given to a student preparing for a career in the field of education by Milan Farman in memory of his wife. Eleanor taught elementary school in Vermont and Massachusetts before moving to Queensbury, and Mel served as assistant principal at our elementary school. The award goes to Taryn Kane. The Eric E. Two Scholarship. Eric is a 1997 Queensbury graduate who credits his prof professional success to the outstanding mathematics education he received at QHS. Eric left Queensbury to study math at Dartmouth College and received a master's degree in computer science at San Francisco State University in California, and later received a second master's degree in business from the University of Chicago. Eric wants to encourage all future math students, and he has asked that this $1,000 award be presented to the most outstanding male and female College Brown math student each year. The awards go to Samantha Brayton and Evan Powell. I am now gonna hand the program over to Ms. Muller, high school counselor. The Kelly's Angels Scholarship. This scholarship is presented by Kelly's Angels, a local charity whose mission is to help children who've lost a parent to cancer. Kelly's Angels is named after Kelly Maholland, who was a teacher here at Queensbury for a short time in the 1990s. She passed away from breast cancer in 2007. A dedicated educator, Kelly was passionate about helping children and who longed to become well so she could continue to have a positive impact upon their lives. This scholarship, each with the value of $1,500, recognizes Queensbury graduates who have persevered in the face of personal advers adversity while also helping children. This award goes to Jeremy Cardona and Savannah Hayward. 
The New York State Comptroller Student Achievement Award. The New York State Comptroller Student Achievement Awards are presented each year to students who have excelled academically and have also shown leadership potential by volunteering their time to serve the school or the community. Comptroller DiNapoli sends his sincere congratulations, his best wishes to the graduating class of 2020. This year's award goes to Nathan Angel, Brittany Barton, Sarah Bromledge, Kingsley Hall, Mackenzie Nelson, Evan Powell, and Megan Wysocki. The Kevin P. Bergeron Theater Scholarship. The Kevin P. Bergeron Theater Scholarship was established by the estate of Christine Stone Bergeron in memory of her son, Kevin, a 1975 Queensbury graduate. Kevin was an extraordinarily gifted actor, singer, musician, director, and theatrical teacher. His passion for the arts led to lead roles beginning at age nine. Through high school, college, and later professionally, Kevin was accepted into the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York, acting in theaters off-off Broadway. He also held lead roles with the Miami Players in Florida. Ke Kevin founded the Young Actors Guild, an acting studio in Glens Falls for eight children ages six to 18. The Guild was located in what is now known the Wood Theater. Kevin's impact was profound and widespread, touching the hearts of countless people who witnessed his talent, love, compassion, and quick wit. This year's recipient is Nicholas Howard. The Adirondack School Counselor Association Scholarship. The $800 award honors a graduating senior who will be attending SUNY Adirondack. This recipient is nominated by their school counselor and must be caring, hardworking, and a role model to his or her peers. This year's recipient is Jared Chamberlain. The National Merit Scholarship Program. This student has advanced to finalist standing in the National Merit Scholarship Program of 2020 by demonstrating through distinguished performance, high potential for future academic accomplishment. This award goes to Robert Scheidegger. The National Merit Scholarship Program, James E. Casey Scholarship. This special scholarship award is sponsored by the UPS Foundation through the PSAT National Merit Scholarship. This award goes to Sarah Bromledge. The Side Out Foundation. This $1,000 award recognizes students who make breast cancer education and research a priority in their school and community. This award goes to Isabella Carusone. The Shared Decision Making Team Awards. This award demonstrates students' dedication and commitment to the school community on behalf of the Queensbury High School Shared Decision-Making Team. This award goes to Brittany Barton and Annika Trollstra. The Zanta Club of Glens Falls Scholarships. Zanta is a global organization of executives and professionals working to improve the status of women worldwide through advocacy and service. This $3,500 award is highly competitive and selective and honors exemplary achievement in academics and community service. This award goes to Nicholas Logan. The Drone Grishkot Scholarship. Zanta Club of Glens Falls. This award of $3,000 will be given to a local student who has expressed a fervent desire as well as the aptitude to excel in one of the following healing professions, nursing, physical, occupational, speech, or respiratory therapy. This award goes to Isabella Caruson. The next award is the Sandy Hill Foundation Scholarship. The Sandy Hill Foundation is based in Hudson Falls and offers grants for colleges on an annual basis to assist students graduating from designated local area schools. 
The $2,500 award honors students who stand out based on their character, motivation, and academic potential. This award goes to Isabella Carason and Rebecca Garcia. The next award, Recognizing Acts of Character in Education, Class of 2020 Exemplary Students Award. RACE is a QHS program that recognizes students who display integrity and compassion for others as part of their everyday life. Students who have been acknowledged by the program are young people who have made a difference in their lives of their peers. Our exemplary seniors are being honored by the recognizing acts of character in education, their compassion, integrity, and kindness. This award goes to Reagan Asplin, Olivia Barden, Martina Boxar, Lillian Buck, Ella Campopiano, Madison Dines, Jennifer Esper, Rebecca Garcia, Nathan Gillingham, Cole Hanley, Nicholas Logan, Taryn Kane, Kirsten Naylor, Jacob Sargent, and Elizabeth Welsing. The Queensbury Educational Support Senior Book Awards. This award gives $250 book award to a deserving ch child of QESS members. This year, applicants were required to write an essay titled, What Role Model Influenced You During High School? The QESS committee was amazed by the number of students who attributed their success to their families and teachers. This award goes to Riley Sheehan and Sean Stimson. The next award is the Berkshire Bank Next Gen Scholars. Scholars. This award of $2,500 embodies academic excellence while also sharing our company's commitment to community service and volunteerism. This award goes to Ashlyn Robleski. I will now hand it off to school counselor, Mr. Kevin Sullivan, to announce the Queensborough Community Scholarship Association Awards. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I am proud and honored to represent the Queensbury Community Scholarship Association for this evening's awards. Established originally as the Queensbury chapter of the Dollars for Scholars of America organization on July 7th, 1990, the Queensbury Community Scholarship Association, better known as QCSA, has cumulatively awarded $636,332 in scholarships to nearly 1,800 Queensbury students over time. This community-based grassroots organization flourishes with a loyal group of volunteers who operate under the leadership of the following QCSA officers. Wendy Shavi, President, Kimberly Mills, the Treasurer, Lynn Silverberg, Recording Secretary, Catherine Sconzo, Corresponding Secretary. This year, the QCSA will award scholarships to 66 qualified seniors categorized between special and memorial awards, including our two newest scholarships, the Daniel Kane Memorial and the Henry D. Olson Memorial. Tonight, on this special evening, the Queensbury Community Scholarship Association is extremely proud and honored to award a grand total of $41,000 to these qualified and ambitious seniors. Our first award is the Nicole Stewart Clan Family Scholarship. Wendy was a local preschool teacher, nurse, and PTA member for many years. Ron was a valued member of the Queensbury School Board, PTSA, and current contributor to the SUNY Adirondack Foundation. Wendy and Ron had three children who all graduated from Queensbury High School. Education was and is a strong force in the Stewart family's lives. Both Wendy and Ron were and are known as fair and kind members in our community, supporting Habitat for Humanity, SUNY Adirondack and local businesses. The entire family acknowledges the positive impact that the Queensbury School District has had on their personal successes. And this year awards goes to Jarrett Beswick,
Kyle Brindle, Trinity Dingman, Seth Londrigan, and Jasmine Pate. Our next award, the Eric W. Ackner Scholarship. This scholarship is given in honor of Eric W. Ackner, a graduate of Queensbury High School, class of 2014. This scholarship is given to a senior student who thinks outside of the box, celebrates different ways of learning, respects others, and is internally aware that we all have special talents, uniquenesses, and abilities to share with each other in a positive and lasting manner. This year's award goes to Shea Murray. The Catherine Fleming Terry Women in STEM Scholarship. Catherine Fleming Terry was the oldest of nine children of Irish immigrants. After high school, she left the family farm, enrolled in Albany State Teachers College, which was tuition free after World War II, as she could not attend college otherwise, and lived with local families doing housework for them in exchange for a place to live. She came to Queensbury High School after earning her master's degree, working here from 1950 to 1982. She was faculty advisor for several groups, including the National Honor Society. She believed that a good education was the path to self-sufficiency and independence. This year's award winner, Megan Wysocki. Our next award, the Daniel Kane Memorial Scholarship. Daniel Kane graduated from Queensbury High School in 1972 and worked as a social studies teacher at the school for 15 years. Dan set the bar high for his students and was always pleased when former students thanked him for preparing them for life after high school. Dan was an advisor for youth and government in mock trial, a geography professor at SUNY Adirondack, a high school basketball referee, and an off ice hockey official. Dan was a dedicated member of our community who spent many hours at the YMCA working out and socializing with friends on the boards of the YMCA, Adirondack Mountain Club and Adirondack 46ers, a summer steward in the High Peaks, a member of the Lower Adirondack Search and Rescue and Therapy Dogs International with his dog, Marcy, and a security guard at SPAC. Dan lost his battle with cancer in August 2019. As Dan would always say to anyone who would listen, please remember to pay it forward with just a few kind words. This evening's recipients, Genevieve Couton and Nicholas Logan. The next award is our Henry D. Olson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by the family and friends of Henry D. Olson in January, 2020. Henry graduated from Queensbury High School in 2016 and passed away due to complications from a medical condition. Henry will always be remembered for his infectious smile that would light up a room. He was a kind and thoughtful person who had a great sense of humor he was an actor both on and off stage. Henry had a passion for theater and during his high school years, performed in three of the school's musicals. He was a member of the Hudson River Shakespeare Company, performed with the SUNY Adirondack Theater Program, and also with the Lake Theater at the Holiday Inn in Lake George. Henry had many passions, including history, camping, cats, video games, Jeeps, the Washington Capitals, the New York Jets, and being with his family. Henry was completing his degree in automotive technology at the same time of his passing. This year's award recipient is Olivia Nasavera. The Henry B. Austin Memorial Scholarship. Marsha Austin worked in the Queensbury Elementary School for many years and upon her retirement was elected as a member of the Queensbury Board of Education where she served for several years. This year's winner, Gabriella Iantilli, Audrey Murphy, Frederick Will Vogel. Our next award is the Katie Biednell Memorial Scholarship. 
Katie B. Nell was a member of the class of 2007, and her class established this fund in her memory. Katie was actively involved in dance, Girl Scouts, and she wished to pursue a career in journalism. This year's award winner, Alexa Ferraro. Next, we have the Kim Chase Memorial Scholarship. Kim Chase was a member of the class of 1989 who obtained her Bachelor of Science degree in speech therapy from the College of St. Rose. Shortly after her college graduation, she died tragically in an automobile accident. This year award winner, Mackenzie Nelson. The Nesbert R. and Thea Dehoney Memorial Scholarship. Nez Dehoney was a high school math teacher and department chair for many years. Nez coached several sports over three decades. Thea was a physical education teacher for many years at area school districts, including the BOCES adult education programs and the women's adult swim and volleyball leagues. This year's recipients, Haley Ballard and Chloe Lyles. Next, we have the Peter T. Donnelly Memorial Scholarship. Peter Donnelly served as a director of guidance at Queensbury High School and later served as the administrator in charge of pupil personnel services and special education for the Queensbury School District. This year, we have three winners, Samantha Brayton, Natalie Giamara, and Ashlyn Robleski. The John and Tina Dwyer Family Memorial Scholarship. Initially established in 2001 in memory of Mrs. Tina Dwyer by her husband, John Dwyer. In 2016, Mr. John Dwyer passed away and the scholarship was amended by the Dwyer children to include their father. The Dwyer family have always been strong supporters of the Queensbury School District and the Queensbury School Soccer Program John Dwyer served with the Queensbury Board of Education, Dollars for Scholars, Senior Citizens, and many area youth soccer organizations. Tonight we have two recipients, Peter Crawford and Isabel Dennison. Next, we have the Patrick R. Epidico Memorial Scholarship. Patrick Epidico moved to Queensbury following his retirement as a New York City police officer. The scholarship was established by his wife, Anne, who worked in the Queensbury High School attendance office for several years. The family is partial to students pursuing a career in criminal justice, education, and or music. And this year's recipient is Sean Stimson. Next, we have the Grace Foote Memorial Scholarship. Grace Foote graduated from Queensbury High School one year early in spite of debilitating medical issues. The fund was established by faculty members to honor a senior with strong character who demonstrates courage in the face of adversity. This year's award winner, Joshua DeMatos. Next, the Raymond G. Gordon Memorial Scholarship. Raymond Gordon graduated in 1964 from Whitehall Central School and continued his education at Adirondack Community College in Castleton State in Castleton, Vermont. He then taught for 33 years at the 40N Central School District as business and marketing educator. Mr. Gordon served 28 years on the Queensbury Board of Education, five years of which he served as board president. He helped establish policies, set educational goals, evaluate programs and develop budgets for Queensbury schools. His efforts, along with those of fellow board members, ensured countless opportunities for students to explore their passions in academics, athletics, and the fine and performing arts. He remained a tireless advocate for students, even as learning standards, instructional technology, and state and federal priorities changed dramatically. In addition, he received numerous awards from the New York State Board Association for Leadership. This year's recipients are Bryce Blybtree and Sarah Bramblage.
Next, we have the Sarah Griega Memorial Scholarship. Sarah Griega was a member of the class of 2005 and passed away this summer following her high school graduation after a long and courageous battle with cancer. She was a devoted member of the yearbook editorial staff and loved to write. This year, we would like to honor Abigail Caimano. Our next award, the Hall Family Entrepreneur Scholarship. The Hall family has operated the local apparel company, Hallwear, for over 20 years, focusing on providing superior customer service with quality products for many sports teams, organizations, and companies. The Hall family, including Dale, Dan Hall Sr., a 1968 Queensbury graduate, has always felt the need to give back to the community that supported Hallwear throughout the years. And this scholarship provides an opportunity to offer a small token of sincere appreciation. This year's winner is Jordan Bentley. Next, we have the extinguished, distinguished Dr. Jack V. Erion Memorial Scholarship. The Erion family and members of the school community established this award to recognize Dr. Jack Erion for his 20 years of service as the first superintendent of Queensbury School District. He was a fan of all Queensbury sports programs and held the students as his highest priority. This year, Alexander Roca is the recipient. The Sergeant Ted B. Islis Memorial Scholarship. Sergeant Islis started his 23 year career with the New York State Police in March of 1989. He served in the Watertown and Canton areas as, troop, as a trooper before obtaining the rank of sergeant in 1986. Throughout his tenure, Sergeant Islis was the Malone Station Commander, a counselor at the New York State Police Academy, the Troop B Fitness Coordinator, and finished his career at the Forensic Investigation Center in Albany. Physical fitness and various outdoor activities are very important to Sergeant Islis. He was a man known for his kindness, fairness, honesty, and love for his family. This year, the award goes to Kyle Miller. The William J. Lanzadel Memorial Scholarship. Bill Lanzadel passed away in February of 2008. He taught chemistry for several years and served as a high school counselor for the Queensbury school system for over 30 years. He was an active member and one of the original founders of the now called Adirondack School Counselors Association. And this year's recipients are Megan O'Connor and Addison Taimula. Next, we have the Nathan Allen Link Memorial Scholarship. Nathan passed away following a long illness. He was the son of Alan and Penny Link. Alan was a health and science teacher and coach at the Queensbury Middle School for many years. Nathan went on to further his studies at St. Lawrence University. He was very interested in environmental sciences. This year award goes to Annika Trollstra. The Dr. Donald Lamanto Memorial Scholarship Dr. Lamanto served as the Queensbury School District Superintendent, who was known for his positive outlook and visionary leadership. This scholarship was initiated by the community in his memory and honor. And this year's award goes to Rebecca Garcia and Savannah Haywood. Next, we have the Nino Manzella Memorial Scholarship. Nino was passionately involved in Queensbury's cross-country running and Nordic ski programs at the parent level. As a spirited enthusiast for both sports, Nino deeply supported the individual athlete at all levels in each of the programs as a whole. Nino embraced the principles of hard work, team unity, optimism, and positive loyalty in all aspects of his life, and thus, honored athletes who also demonstrated and embodied these same goals for daily living. 
Tonight, we honor two seniors, Brittany Barton and Carlin Fitzgerald. The Roger Marcy Memorial Scholarship. Roger was a teacher and administrator at the Queensbury High School for 35 years. He began his career in the district as an English teacher in 1962, served as the assistant principal starting in 1974, and became the principal in 1990. Following his retirement in 1998, he continued to serve his community as a Queensbury Board of Education member, as well as serving three years as principal at St. Mary's St. Alphonsus Regional Catholic School in Glens Falls, and later at a private parochial school in the state of Utah. This year's recipient, Ella Campo Piano. The Clara McIntyre Memorial Scholarship. Clara McIntyre served the Queensbury School District over several decades as administrative secretary to both William Barton, the district's first superintendent, and to Dr. Jack V. Erion, the district's second superintendent of schools. She was a very dedicated employee who always maintained a vibrant sense of humor and the ability to help new district staff members feel welcome and at home here. This year, we would like to honor two recipients, Michael Greenwood and Claudia Polaro. Next, we have the Malcolm McIntyre Memorial Scholarship. Mel McIntyre was a member of the Queensbury Middle School faculty who served primarily in grade six. The scholarship was established by his wife, Claire, who served many years as secretary to the district superintendent. And this year, two recipients, Theodore Bearer and Sage Carpenter. Next, we have the Cody Miller Memorial Scholarship. Cody Miller was a member of the class of 2010. He was a bright and witty young man who possessed a strong character. He enjoyed his friends and family. The scholarship honors his memory. The family is proud to recognize and award the fine young recipients for their character and achievement. This year, we would like to honor Nathan Johnson. Next, the Jeffrey, Memor Jeffrey Morrison Memorial Scholarship. The Jeffrey Morrison Scholarship was established by his family in 1999, the year Jeffrey would have graduated. While a student at Queensbury Middle School, Jeffrey tragically died in a bicycle accident. Jeffrey's favorite sport was baseball. This year, we honor Nathan Angel. The Mark Orlowski Memorial Scholarship. Mark Orlowski was a well-known musician who passed away in 2018. He played the keyboard, guitar, and had a passion for songwriting. In addition to performing regionally, Mark worked with his son, Brandon, designing sound systems for other mu musical performance groups and bands. This scholarship is intended to assist a student who has a passion for music and is pursuing an education in either vocal or instrumental performance, music education, music therapy, production, or songwriting. This year's winner, Grace Hicks. Next comes the Robert B. Patch Memorial Scholarship. Robert Patch served as the first principal of the Queensbury Middle School, served our country during World War II, and was an active member of the Queensbury chapter of Foreign Wars. For many years, he served as chairman of the Boys State Selection Committee and is remembered for his leadership in the field of education. And this year's winner, Jake Howard. The John Quirk Memorial Scholarship. John Quirk was a much loved and respected English teacher and department chair at Queensbury High School for several decades. His humor, kindness, and talent endeared him to students and colleagues alike. An accomplished poet, Mr. Quirk's works were published in three Adirondack poets, among other publications of the Lost Press, 
a local literary magazine, which he co-founded. He also served on the board of directors, directors for Crandall Library. Whenever he found a book he loved, he would often buy it and share it with many of his friends. This year's winner, Rachel Palmer. The Shirley Roach Memorial Scholarship. Shirley Roach was employed by the Queensbury School District for over 50 years. She is best known for her dedication to the students of Queensbury, for her positive attitude and outlook on life, her love of learning and her love for her job. Mrs. Roach began working at Queensbury as a member of the cafeteria staff and was later asked to accept a position in the K-6 office which at the time was located in the current middle school. In the late 1960s, Mrs. Roach took over as head of the 3-4 office in the newly built elementary school. Eventually, Mrs. Roach became the middle school guidance secretary where she helped many students and faculty on a daily basis. During her career, Mrs. Roach touched the lives of multi multiple generations in the Queensbury community. This year's recipients are Kylie Bouye and Isabella Carason. Next, we have the Betty Rook Memorial Dramatic Arts and English Scholarship. Betty Rook was a member of the Queensbury High School faculty. She taught English with a special interest in literature and served as the advisor for the school's musical stage productions over the years. This year's recipient, Jeffrey Ritz. The Lee Sanford Memorial Scholarship. Lee Sanford was an investment banker. He was also a competitive athlete who excelled in football, was a great team player, and had good sportsmanship. This year's recipient, Tristan Hughes. Next, we have the Alan Lee Waylitz Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 2014 by Dr. John Hicks and his family in memory of his parents, Al and Lee Waylitz. Dr. Hicks and his family moved to Queensbury where he and his wife enrolled their children in the school district. Although the parents had no ties to the area, they were strong supporters of the performing arts and arts education. This award could be given to those pursuing a career in performance, art, design, or other creative endeavors. This year's winner is Faith Royce. The Ann White Memorial Scholarship. In September, 1963, when the first separate high school building was opened on the Queensbury School campus, Ann White was in charge of setting up the new library. During her time as the high school librarian, Anne further served the district as yearbook advisor for several graduating classes, and she also helped establish the first career exploration and education program in cooperation with the guidance office. Many of the ideas she set forth through this program exist for the students of Queensbury, even today. Anne's interest in literature was coupled with a lifelong passion for writing which became more evident following her retirement from the school system. Over a period of several years, Anne wrote several mystery novels that incorporated many features of Lake George and life in this area. She was the first recipient of the Malice Domestic Unpublished Writer Grant in 1999, and her first novel won the 2000 Dark Oak Mystery Contest. This year's winner, Emily Kudelka. On to the Queensbury Community Scholarship Association Class of 2020 Awards. The Class of 2020 Scholarships honor those students who were integral in volunteering at our Queensbury Community Scholarship Association annual phone-a-thon in October. These enthusiastic seniors embody commitment, school spirit and dedication in addition to being heavily involved in a number of other school and community endeavors. This year we honor two winners, Mara Cunningham and Alyssa LaPointe. 
Next, we have the Queensbury Community Scholarship Association School Citizens Awards. This award is presented to students who embody the qualities of school spirit, fine character, and the exceptional willingness to fully embrace school-related activities. This year's recipients, Eliana Addison, Oliver Karen, Lindsay Allen, Christine Domashik, Claire Basilla, Augustine Longitano. The Queensbury Community, Scholar Community Scholarship Association Community Involvement Awards. Community involvement, energy, and service are the hallmark traits possessed by students selected for this distinguished category for senior recognition and awards. We have several recipients, Victoria Davis, Kelsey Hill, Nell Nathan Gillingham, Maggie Ryan, and Andrew Summers. So congratulations to the class of 2020. And just a side note that um, your check is in the proverbial mail, which you should receive at the midpoint of approximately next week. Thank you very much. And now I would like to introduce at this point back to Mr. Switzer. This concludes our awards program. I'd like to thank Mrs. Sipowitz and the school counselors for all their hard work with organizing and coordinating tonight's program. Thank you to Kim Nelson and Sharon DeJesus for coordinating all the scholarship applications. Most importantly, a special thank you to the community organizations, local businesses, and Queensbury families who have provided the financial support and scholarship opportunities for our students. Your generosity profoundly impacts students. Let's give them a big round of applause. Finally, thank you to all of our parents who support our school district and provide a critical foundation of love and support that leads students to successful and fulfilling lives. And seniors, if you received an award, don't forget to write those thank you notes. And now it's time to celebrate all of our award recipients.